come to the green flag. We return to Iowa for the first time since season five. A short track, so we're bound for 45 million cautions here tonight. And uh, the green flag's out here. And whoa, Duncan exploded off the start. Um, is Galgan slower? I'm not too sure, but uh, it's already Duncan exploded off the start. I think there may be. Yeah, Duncan's coming to the pits. Black flag for William Duncan for uh, um, pass, for um, jumping the start. That hasn't happened in a while. Well, at least that's... Well, actually, I don't think it's ever happened here, but oh boy, we already got a lot of trouble back here. Three wide in a lot of areas of this damn racetrack. Oh boy, okay. All right, come on, guys. Hang on to it. But oh boy, little bean and bang all over the track. Everybody's going three wide. Three wide here. Spybrosis is the leader right now. Oh boy, but this field's getting very, very intense. Oh boy, I do not foresee this lasting very On board long. so you can see what the drivers are going through in this craziness. This is Shelton on, on board. Uh, it's a huge mess down there. Really big mess. I'm surprised they didn't bring out the caution. And I hope I didn't speak too soon. Fibrosis is gone as Duncan is out of the pits. Here's your back markers for tonight's race, <laughs> at least for now. But uh, everybody's surprisingly keeping their cool despite this. Oh god! Last time we came to Iowa, set pole one when he was driving for Hart Brothers, and he's all the way down there in the uh, 34th. Well, actually, maybe like in 40th place now. But set Cole is the only driver who's won here out of all these guys. So. We'll see how that ends up as Dylan Young is trying to close in on fibrosis. What's good about short tracks is it allows for underdogs to start being towards the front because it does because engine power does not really matter too much on short tracks. But for example, Vincent Allen, who has been struggling this season, is actually starting to move his way towards the pack towards the uh, front. Same for Dutta and Pollard. But uh these guys are holding it together for now. Pit stops are gonna be I forget the pit lap window. We are going to have to pit a couple of times. The pit window is about like third at lap 25 or something like that. But tense battling going on all over the racetrack as a fibrosis leads with Dylan Young and Chris Washer trying to close in. Here's about for third place right now with Dylan Young and Michael Block. These guys are in the top five in points. Block is actually the points leader. Dylan Young's fifth in the points. As a block trying to work his way past for third as Washer closes it on the nine. But look at Dylan Young firing right back at Michael Block. Not going to let him get away here. And this is a really good battle right now. These two look like they're pretty even on this track here. And Block trying to power his way on the outside, but to no avail. Meanwhile, Eric Byrne is sneaking up to both of them here. These two, they keep swapping positions here as Dylan Young shuts the door on the 29 there. Block is giving everything he's got, the two. Looks like he slowed up to trying to recover a little bit. Here comes, well, he's trying to back off the two a little bit. I guess Dylan Young may be starting to pull away. Fibros has just got around the uh, lap car of William Duncan, but uh, Duncan's not going to really give up much uh, ground, I'd say, mainly because Duncan still is fast. I mean, he's trying to fight to get his lead lap back and he, pro and he probably will but, well he might, but Washer is on the inside trying to get by him. Chris Washer is yet to win this season. Fibrosis just came off winter Atlanta and, and uh, Washer's coming in. This is scheduled. Pit stops have begun. As due to Pollard and others come in as well. I saw uh, Guerrera. So pit stops have begun here. At Fibrosis it's got quite the gap as Preston Plowart's got front end damage from pit road with people just slamming to the back of each other on pit road, which is just, you know, typical short track racing. But uh, Fibrosis leads right now. Chris Washer's in second. He's not too far behind. But, uh, oh, got to go back a little bit. Dylan Young with William Duncan and such. And uh, Young's doing a pretty good job being in the top five. He's been pretty consistent this season. As we uh, look through the field here, Pollard's worked his way up to uh, sixth place. 
Hart Citadino. It looks like he had problems in the pits. He was in 16th, and then I guess something happened in the pits. Zaznowski must have had an issue. Block fell a lot of positions back. James Shelley's actually doing pretty good in 11th place right now after those pit stops. So Shelley having a really good run so far. Where is his uh, rookie of the year rival, uh, Nico Hall, who's back in 26th? These two are the top two in the rookie standings at the moment. So these two are having huge dogfights for the uh, spot. Here's a good battle right now to get into the top 20. Fitzwater, Jackson, Guerrero, McWhirt, kind of Louvier as well. These guys are battling it out. Pretty fluently here as, ooh, Jackson McGuard made contact there. Jackson slid up into McGuard. And Fitzwater is doing a good job so far tonight. He's actually pushing, he's pushing his way through the field. 18th, he's about to take 17th from Jackson here. Fitzwater's moving at a pretty good pace. Uh, I'm not too sure if they have any short tracks in Australia, but he's doing a damn pretty good job. And uh, see if he can continue moving up. Vincent Allen is in 16th right now. He's doing a pretty good job himself. Other drivers up here. Uh, Baskinger is in 12th. Saw we mentioned Shelley a little bit earlier. And uh, yeah, a lot of cars with issues. Fuller, Nowakowski looks like they had issues during the pit stop cycle. Oh boy, oh, Pod's got a problem. He hits Perkins. Oh man, oh God. Oh, Baskinger, Sosnowski involved. Pollard lost the steering, his steering went out. And Caution came out for it. And Baskinger was running in 14th at the time. Bad luck, Baskinger strikes again. Well, boy, oh, we just killed the pace car. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Great. As we get ready to take the green flag, several cars are a lap down, so it's pretty much a double file restart. Right, Russell just put a couple of drivers left down. Dylan Young actually stayed out during the pits here, and green flags out, and yeah, Young got a really good launch there. Uh, I'm not too sure what, and uh, Day, that was not what Day wanted to see, was the guy, was Dylan Young just pulling away like that. And we got Calamity, Dylan Young's gonna pit row, black flag for Dylan Young for jumping the start. Wow, the stewards are being very picky today. As this is the battle for the lead between Washer and Fibrosis. The steward, the Arksa stewards are pretty picky today with restarts tonight. And uh, Chris Washer takes the lead. Oh, now Kowski almost slid up into the 11 as we are coming to the halfway point. Washer on the outside, now Kowski trying to make the pass. Dino fighting his way towards up the front along with Fuller and Duncan as they're trying to get their laps back. Green flag still. But Dylan Young and Duncan have both been penalized tonight for jumping the starts today. So I'm not sure what's going on with them. Is this about for a lead? Oh boy, three wide. Fibros is fighting hard with Washer. This is a big fight right now. And this is hard. It's hard to look away. It's hard to look away from this. Look at Fibrosis make a three wide in between the two slow cars. Ooh, squeezing, slamming. Here comes Duncan for four wide down there, but Duncan backed out of it. And that's going to cause the fuel to check up. Oh, Duncan slid. He got loose in the turn and he went below the apron as well. And that checked up the field a little bit. But this is hard fighting for the lead as Washer. Trying to get past Fibros still. He's working with Nowakowski, trying to get to the. Trying to push Nowakowski back in front of the nine. It's hard to turn away from this because it's so good right now. Oh man, oh, we're getting tight. Oh, we are getting super duper tight. And Washer takes the lead. And this is getting nuts. Oh man, oh god, oh the lord. Uh, Seth Cole's worked his way up there. He was in last place this area earlier. And now it's turned into a super speedway race. Yeah, here's the uh, rear camera so you can see how nutty it's getting right now. Man, it's just getting crazy as hell. We're on the back bumper of Sanford now. He's got Shelton and Fibrosis right there. 
it's just so tight and it's so hard to find the correct line around this trap because it's so there's not much grip here so it's really hard to pinpoint a correct line and we got three Y there Fitzwater's got a good view of this one O5 Brawl is in the wall he pretty much dominated the first half of this race and now he's falling back a little bit look at Dally with a huge run that Volkswagen Jetta Ooh, Dally! Oh, Dally gets into Fitzwater, and oh man, that was a bump. Didn't work. Though. All this calamity promotes Noah Hart to the lead with Eric Byrne fighting with Lamas there. Byrne's in second. Seth Cole's in third. Seth Cole, he won here back in season five. And it's the only time we ever ran this track beforehand. So uh, Seth Cole's got a pretty good advantage because he's won here before. So he, he kind of knows what he's doing. And I'm trying to remember, the last time we came here, I think we did have some sort of a 10 lap dash or something like that. And uh, this race has been pretty crazy so far. I mean, it's been pretty entertaining. And the racing's actually been pretty fun to watch, but knowing short track racing, I'm just worried that it's gonna get a little too um, ridiculous as we get a little more uh, close to the end because that's where people just lose their brains. Uh, several cards are coming in for pit stops here. Shelton's one of them here. And oh boy, oh, oh, there goes Alex Allen. Rogers around. Kevin Arrow went upside down for a moment there. Shelton's around. And Alex Allen was in 12th at the time. And caution flies during pit stops. Great. All right, let's take a look see what happened here. Kevin Arrow and Shelton were just overdoing that. They had uh, turned to pit road and... Uh, they made contact, Kavanaugh went up and over, Rogers and Alex Allen got involved. Shelton didn't really get much damage, but she's going to lose some spots because of it. As we head back to the green flag, Chris Washer is the leader. And we'll see what happens here. Washer, everybody on the inside is one lap down. Citadino's also a lap down as he exploded off the start here. Citadino running for life. Right now as Kavanaugh checks up the inside lane of the field. Washer comes in at turn number two as the leader. Noah Hart right there to try and challenge. Hart fighting really hard to try and get past that 11 car. Hart has been pretty strong in the second half of the race here. Washer fell back a little bit, but he made up ground on the uh, pit stops. And Noah Hart checks out into the lead. Hart's fighting really hard right now. McGuart is he McGuart's actually doing pretty well. He's in the top five right now. We saw McGuart battling with a couple of others earlier, like Louvier, and now he's up to third place. So good job to McGuart. Vincent Allen, Jacob Anthony, both little underdogs are having great days tonight here at Iowa. And uh, Anthony's bumping that 87, trying to get around him. Vincent Allen's season has just been less than that's just been less than bad it's been horrible same for his uncle both the Allen guys have just been struggling horribly this season so far and uh, look at McGuart dive straight down into his teammate of Noah Hart here McGuart's fighting extremely hard for second place here comes Nick Mace out of nowhere it's Noah Hart's jerk off friends they're all fighting each other oh man But uh, while that's happening, Vincent Allen and trying to get to his teammate of uh, William Duncan to try and work, probably work together with him. But Anthony's saying, screw that, and he's just bump, just trying to get him out of the way, a little, little bit of nudges and, su and such. But, uh, I mean, we got 20, less than 20 laps to go right now, so the, honestly the time to charge is now as Washer is pulling away a little bit as Mace is trying to close in. But this is just one huge problem as Anthony's trying to deal with William Duncan here. Oh man, but Duncan is just sticking his nose where it shouldn't go right now, especially this late in the race. But uh, Anthony's fighting really hard still down there on the bottom. And he will take third. Well, well actually, Four. Here comes Mace down there on the bottom trying to get these cockers washing now as we are coming to 10 laps to go here. Mace fighting with the washer here. Jacob Anthony coming here to swoop up the pieces. Anthony pushing the back of the 77, trying to get him loose and going fast to the corner that he wants to go. 
Anthony gave that 77. A bump, and Anthony goes for the lead. Jacob, Anthony. Hasn't won since season seven. He could do it tonight. But he may have timed too early because here comes Washer and Mace down there on the bottom. Oh, Mace's car is handling a little better than that 10 car is. Anthony just wheeled that car all the way to first. But here we go, pit stops here, and oh boy, oh trouble! Anthony and Washer gives the 10 a huge shove off the track as pit stops begin. Um, caution, caution's out, caution's out, Anthony's upside down. Vincent Allen's involved, Charles Sanford, we got a huge problem up here. Further up, oh boy, oh boy, Dunk Demax is blowing up in the 92. And with 10 laps to go, a huge calamity. Duncan's got damage. McGuard, he's got damage as well. That car is not handling like it used to be. Oh, man. Oh, man. Does something happen between those two? Because I don't think those two are happy with each other right now. But uh, huge problems here at Iowa. I don't know what the heck just happened. Take a look and see what happened here. Let's actually slow-mo it. See, Anthony just he cuts down all the way into pit lane. Now, I think he he overshoots the he overshoots the turn to pit road here, and he's on the apron. He slides in the apron. Washer is going a lot faster than he was, and Washer just plows right into the ten. And that's going to cause Anthony to just get smacked by William Duncan. And Anthony goes hard into the wall. That car just turned to junk there. And then this is where Vincent Allen's going to get involved here. Allen had nowhere to go. And just slams into the 10. And that 10 car just went into the air. Louvier slid into the 47. McGord plowed as it was just fighting his way through that. Demax, that's where he blew up because he slammed it. He got into the 87 there. And Lamish just parked the car right there to try and avoid those guys. And then something happens further up ahead with Perkins. Something happened here. You he saw Demax. Yeah, everybody's cutting down to try to avoid. Yeah, there was an accident for their up a. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, see, Demax gets into it. But then something. Oh, Louvier got spun back there. All right, so this started with Louvier. All right, so Louvier, we saw him side swipe into the 87 a little bit here. Okay, so Louvier gets he spins around because of it, and then knocks that knocks Citadino around. Louvier spun right in front of a huge pack of cars. Block got a piece of it. McGuart got a piece of it. And then Tross, he just gets everybody's just plowing into the back of each other. There wasn't really much anywhere it had to go. And it was just a huge pile up in that turn. Ruined a lot of good cars. And Vincent Allen and Anthony, they were having a hell of a good runs tonight. Anthony was in position to win the dang thing, and Allen was doing a great job. Sad to see that. All right, at the flag, it's going to be a seven lap fight for the win. Said Cole is the leader, his teammate Nico Hall out of nowhere. Some of these guys in the front were the ones that did not pit. So Seth Cole, Nico Hall, Nick Smith, Charles Sanford, Cavanero, well not Cavanero, but uh, Jackson, Washer, and Mace. Hard for God's sakes, but uh, oh, Seth Cole's got a problem. He's going to Piro. No, he's not. What is Seth Cole doing? Um, uh, um, what the heck just happened? Um, Seth Cole is bro. He broke the, the that car is broken. Something broke in the car, and that that car is not going. That car is not going. That car is not going. Seth Cole is stopped in the middle of the track, and that's going to bring the caution right back out. And that's going to promote Nico Hall to the lead. What the heck? Um. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Nick Smith. He's not happy with that four. I wonder if something happened. Man. Well, that just happened. 
Um, okay. Well, Nico Hall is the leader. But uh, good luck. Oh, Lord. Nico Hall got black flagged during the caution for jumping the start. They're forcing him to start at the end of the line. Sanford had a problem. He had to pit. But Nick Smith is the leader. And that's this is your, pretty much your top 10 right now. Cole Daly's up to fourth somehow. We saw him fighting earlier as Nick Smith leads. It's going to be a green a white checker. Our first one since Indianapolis of last season. Green white checker at Iowa. Prepare for calamity. Green flags out. Smith. Oh, man. Oh, Washer got either Washer got a good start or Smith slowed up. Look at Guerrero and Har. What the hell? Look at Jackson now, too. I think Smith, I don't know, Smith broken. Smith may be broken. He is broken. That's slow up the field. This is the bow for a lead right now. Three car bow for the win. Come on, no green. Come on, keep it green. Keep it green. White flag in the air. It's a three horse battle for the win. White flag, as I've said already. But Nicholas Guerrero, Hart fighting one on one. Guerrero's got the inside. Hart's got the outside. Guerrero's faster in the bottom lane. Coming off turn number four, Nicholas Guerrero will win here at Iowa. Hart second, Jackson third. What the f What the heck just happened? I have no idea. That was a huge calamity. Oh, we got problems after the flag. Nowakowski spun. Oh, I think, uh-oh, uh -oh. that's not good. Nicholas Carrera is your winner. What the heck? All right, so we're looking to see what happened between Lamas and Nowakowski after the flag. Nowakowski comes down, but Lamas just turned him straight into the wall. I wonder if something happened between them on the restart. Wherever it was, we didn't get footage of it, but, uh... I don't know, but I'm really curious to see what happened on that. Bring my checkered here. But uh, I don't think anything really happened between those two. No, I think Lombs is just angry or frustrated or something, so he just turned Nowakowski, or Nowakowski just turned himself. But uh, Nicholas Carrera is your winner here today at Iowa. And again. <laughs>